and even more so for the believer, because we have come into an identity with Christ. We have become a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The scripture describes the believer. And so thus we should take on that form of godliness that was given to us, that great pearl, and we should make the most of it in our life. And we should come to realize that when we begin to obey God, our life becomes a take on a new purpose. When you are saved, your life takes on meaning. When you begin to move forward and obey the direction of the Holy Spirit, your life begins to take on purpose with that meaning. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because God begins to employ you. And then with employing you, He begins to deploy you. Meaning that He puts you in the direction of where your life can come into more amazing intrinsic value for God in the lives of others intrinsically. That means meaning purposeful to God in the lives of others. As Paul preached to the Thessalonian church today and sent Timothy to be the one to bring about. See, Timothy's life had taken on an image of Christ and he had taken on traits and attributes of the faith. And the very first one I want to talk about as we move down the list, and I want you to turn with me today, because I think it's very, very uh, pertinent that you see in the Scripture that the Bible says this, and I don't specifically just say it. 